Well, so I just finished a magic steeped in poison and oh boy, I don't know what I expected from this book, honestly, but wow. Okay, let's try to recap. So we follow Ning throughout. It's her point of view throughout. We start off in her village and her sister is sick and her mother is dead. And her mother died from the same sickness that her sister has, but um, just like before she died, she managed to like, like make the poison, because they've been poisoned, uh, make the poison like, not go as fast. So Ning's sister Shu, I think that was her name. Um, she is basically bedridden, dying. So technically it's Shu that's gotten the invitation, uh, but Ning actually <laughs> not being bedridden and dying, uh, takes the invitation and goes to I want to say like the capital, the empire, the 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 main thing, where there is a competition for. I want to say it's called a shenong, sh shenong. Ugh. Pronunciations hard. <laughs> basically, what. The competition is basically to become an impre the competition is basically to become an what's the word? Another word for it is trainee. So let's just go with that. <laughs> apprentice. There you go. The word is apprentice. <laughs> So the competition is to become an apprentice and then, well, you kind of are an apprentice when you go, but you're, you're supposed to become like the master magic tea thingy. I'm not really sure how to cre cre create. To I'm not really sure how to explain what this Shenong thing person actually is. Basically... They're like a medicinal healer. Yeah. With herbs and stuff, so not, you know, doctorish thing. Wow, words. Also, the sun is not my friend. Okay, so I'm sinking. I'm gonna sink down. This is an angle. This. Oh, I'm just gonna move. Okay, this this should work, ish. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so basically, Ning enters this competition to become the the emperor's like magical healer, master thingy person. Basically, her aim for it is to like gain the emperor's uh, favor so that she could she can heal her sister that's basically her aim in this game <laughs> but you know as these stories go she meets a boy he uh, may not be who he says he is and intrigue mystery she gets uh, basically someone wants her out of the competition so there's like things are happening. Ah. <laughs> I really liked how it kept changing. It wasn't like very linear the way the plot was progressing. So you'd think it was just, it, it kind of feels like it's just an easy breeze kind of a let's just chill kind of a plot progression. And it kind of is, but it gets like plot twists, turns, and all that, uh, <laughs> which I highly enjoyed. I did not really like all the treatments of all the different characters, but, you know, can't have everything. Also, the 
the magic system that they that they have so it, the story is basically rooted in chinese mythology and you know tea making history traditions all that and the tea tea making progress and all that that's kind of what the magic is well not what what it is but what they use to make the magic flow wow great explanation <laughs> it's a great it's it was so good so so good um it ends kind of on a cliffhanger i want to say it's not like one of those oh my god but also it's give me the next book i need it because i want to see what happens so i'm on to the next book um which sadly i've uh, been hearing lately because when i picked up these books i'd not heard anything about them i picked them up because they're pretty they're pretty okay pretty <laughs> but like since picking up this book i've started like hearing about the duology as a whole and apparently book two is not as good as book one so okay yeah i'm gonna keep an open mind because i do so we'll just see we'll just see what what happens in book number two but so far loving it ah yeah yeah right let's talk about this book uh a venom dark and sweet the second book in the book of tea i feel like i get why the little i've heard of it people haven't been very satisfied with the book so while we in the first book we meet meet characters learn about the characters learn about the world about all that jazz we have a sort of mission we have a mystery that needs resolving and that's about it um this one starts off where the first one left off spoiler we're on the run but <laughs> that's about it so we start off being on the run and then we are on a new mission we are on a new mission basically to gather an army to then go back and take back what was ours well theirs <laughs> but then we kind of deviate from the path because ning isn't like let in where the others go but she's then sent on a different mission and a different mission within that mission Basically, she goes away to then come back and meet up wherever they meet up. <sighs> Here's the thing though, it's not a bad story arc, it's just that it feels like it wasn't really thought out. So it feels like it's a, let's just do this thing while we figure out what to do next and then so on and so forth until we reach the end it doesn't really feel like there's a plan it feels like it's been a bit half-assed and then we get to the ending so we get this very long part of basically traveling and going on missions or a mission and then we get to the end and the end is like two pages not really but compared to the rest of the book it is two pages and it's just like bish bash bosh we are finished the end it felt very anticlimactic yeah that's that's how it felt by the end i did very much enjoy it though it's I mean it's beautifully written and all that and although um all the names and stuff confuse me because i don't speak chinese possibly yes chinese they do have a glossary of 
um, first the term, then the Chinese name, which obviously I cannot read because it's the, the character, and then the pronunciation and the meaning of said word. So it's very like thought out in that sense. And they have like categories of like places, uh, place names of note, uh, character name pronunciation guide, um, yeah, terms, I think they have one for the tea as well, um, or oh, like ingredients. Chinese medicinal ingredients mentioned, um, although I definitely feel like I am not pronouncing it the right way because I'm terrible at, you know, it doesn't, it's not really phonetics, but close enough. I'm terrible at trying to read out how things are supposed to be pronounced. I'm crap at that. I try. I try. I try. <laughs> These are beautiful books. I do feel like these are worth a read, but don't expect something extremely epic. Just expect a fun ride. <laughs> Quite possibly, had they condensed this book, they could have just put this book in the end of this book and make it a slightly longer book, um, which might have helped the situation and might have not made this such a long journey for very unsatisfactory ending. Well, it's not a unsatisfying ending, it's just that the ending was a bit rushed. Yes, that feels more correct. So, yeah. That was it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye-bye.